Well, the coronavirus is affecting nearly every way of life. Now, even the risks surrounding kids getting trapped in hot cars are changing. And with the last two years being the worst in U.S. history for child hot car deaths, according to nonprofit KidsAndCars.org, experts are bringing attention to the new worries. KidsInCars.org says typically in one year, 25% of hot car deaths happen when a child gets into a vehicle on their own. This year, that number has jumped to 55%. Most of these tragedies happen at home. And during the pandemic, children are at home more hours of the day, more days of the week. And so naturally, um, we are seeing the number of home accidents and injuries with children increase. The group's director, Amber Rollins, says a lot of these deaths have happened during nap time. Parents don't realize the child is missing at first because they get outside and into the car when they're supposed to be asleep. A vehicle is an environment that presents a imminent risk to children. Rollins suggests doing everything you can to make sure toddlers can't sneak outside, like child proofing or putting sensors on doors. Always keep your vehicle locked and the keys out of reach. Teach kids how to get out if they do get trapped. And if your child ever goes missing, cars should be one of the first places you check. You want to check the inside, the floorboards, and the trunk of all of the vehicles in the area immediately and minutes can make a difference for children trapped in a hot car. The group is also advocating for Congress to pass the Hot Cars Act. It would require all new vehicles to have systems that can detect a child or a pet in a car when the engine is off. It passed the House this month. Rollins also said since 1990, 949 children under the age of 14 have died from vehicular heat stroke. 61 of those deaths happened in California, the state with the third highest number behind Texas and Florida. And according to kidsandcars.org, the most recent hot car death in Kern County happened back in 2014 when a five-year-old boy got into a vehicle on his own and died.